If you've ever spent hours combining data from multiple sheets to build a dashboard, this is where Excel's new agent mode changes everything. Let's check it out. Now in this example, I am working with a spreadsheet that has four tabs of data. The first tab contains sales data. The second tab contains cost data. The third tab contains inventory data. And the final tab has sales target data. Now to access agent mode in Excel, you want to click into the home tab and then you want to click on the add ins option. Here you want to click more add ins and you want to search for Excel labs. Next you want to click add and then you want to click continue. Once it's been added to your Microsoft Excel, you'll see the Excel labs icon in the ribbon. You want to open it find the agent mode card and then click open. Now with agent mode open, I will start by entering my first instruction in the prompt box. I've pasted in my prompt that reads, create a small business performance dashboard using data across all sheets in this workbook. Combine the sales data, inventory, costs, and target sheets to calculate key metrics such as total revenue, total cost, gross profit, and profit margin by product and region. I'll go ahead and click send, and this is where agent mode really shows off what it can do. Within the Excel labs pane, you can see here that the agent is going to outline each step that it's about to take. Within the activity card, you can see here that it is going to create the business dashboard, set up the tables and formulas, build out summary tables and charts, etc. Now within this activity card, you can even view a summary level description of each activity by clicking on the arrow to expand that activity. This makes it easy to follow along, verify changes, and understand why the dashboard looks the way it does. And once agent mode finishes its reasoning, you'll see that it automatically created a new tab called business dashboard that includes multiple tables, charts, and what's even more amazing is that it provided a detailed description within the Excel Labs pane of everything that it did, including any assumptions, and it even offered a suggestion on where I can find the data that I had requested. Now, what's really impressive is how complete the output is. Agent Mode didn't just summarize the data. Here at the top, it created a key metrics by product table, and it also created a key metric by region table. In the key metric by region table, it even compared each region's revenue to its target, and it calculated the percentage achieved. At the bottom, it listed the top five products by revenue, and it also calculated the products below the order threshold. And it even included two visuals in the form of this bar chart that displays the revenue versus target by region and the top five products by revenue. Another thing that agent mode does automatically is build all of the necessary formulas, structured references, and relationships behind the scenes. This means that the dashboard is not static and it will automatically update as you make changes to your underlying data. Now to show you what I mean, I'll make a quick change. I'll head over to the sales data tab and here I have filtered my sales to the product desk lamp. I will select all of these cells with the revenue and I will just delete this data. Now I'll click back into my business dashboard and you will see here that the revenue for the desk lamp has been updated. Now to illustrate this one more time, I'll click into my sales data tab and here I'm going to wipe out all of my sales for the North region. Now I'll click back into my dashboard and here you can see that my key metrics by region has updated as well as the actual illustration here at the bottom of the screen. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the tutorial, agent mode will actually give you detailed explanations for what it does in order to fulfill your request. But what's even better is that if you click into the side pane and you click on the show details button, what it will actually do, it will walk you through the detailed approach that it took in order to fulfill your request, including showing you the metrics that it built the formulas that it created, what those metrics are actually based on from your data set, 
And it will even give you some information about the validation steps that it took to ensure that the data it presents meets your needs. Now, one of my favorite parts of agent mode is how you can keep refining your work collaboratively, almost as if you're working with an assistant. You don't have to start over. You can continually build on what is already there. Now, to demonstrate this, I am going to ask the agent to implement some conditional formatting. Now, I've pasted in a prompt that reads, apply conditional formatting so that profit margins below 20% are highlighted in red. I'll go ahead and click send. And you can see here that the agent came back and it implemented the conditional formatting and it highlighted the products that have a profit margin of less than 20%. Now it's important to note that in order for you to use this feature, you do need a Microsoft 365 license and a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. And your organization must have enabled the ability for users to add Office add-ins. Now to wrap up, while advanced financial analysis like what I covered in this tutorial will probably never be fully delegated to agent mode, it is clear that it can dramatically speed up the process helping you build, analyze, and visualize your data faster than ever. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, be sure to subscribe for more Microsoft 365 tutorials, and while you're here, check out one of these videos. You might also find them helpful.